everyone, and welcome to Bell to Bells, your women's wrestling wire. I, of course, am Mr. Warren Hayes. Thank you very much for joining us today on our YouTube channel or even on your favorite podcast application as well. We're very, very happy to be able to grab your attention for the next few minutes because we are going to be talking about Zello Pro Wrestling today, who are coming back uh, with their very first wrestling card in months at this point and it's going to be it's going to be a, a party some would even say a festival in fact it's going to be a wrestle fest this weekend on may 1st uh over uh, over at the turner hall ball, ballroom in milwaukee and i am thrilled today to talk about uh talk about her part on the card her very very a big time match that she's having on the card today. The woman who will be defending her Zello Pro Women's Championship against none other than Jordan Grace, of course, the Zello Pro Women's Champion, Lady Luck, L Lady Laney Luck. There, we're off to a rousing start. How you doing, Laney? Welcome to uh, Bell to Bells. Hello, party people. Thank you. I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks for bringing me on. Well, I, I, I appreciate it again, uh, t talking to you again. You know, we spoke a couple of months ago in, with the uh, the PWI uh, when, when you were ranked on the PWI uh, top 100 women's list, which was exciting. What wasn't so exciting, though, about 2020 was, you know, COVID and everything shutting down. But, uh, yeah. um, you know, now that uh, now that we're moving away from that, we're getting into 2021 and things are starting to open up again um how that has to feel good right has anything changed for you now that uh matches are starting to uh, to happen again um i have severe anxiety back that's great been missing that for sure <laughs> no um it's it's not anything too too much but it's just so it just feels so exciting like everything is just like just feels so promising and like there's so much potential and I just can't wait to like get back to normal, whatever that sure. might possibly be. But I'm just ready to get back to going out there and performing and having a good time and turning up. And turning up exactly. And and this, I mean, this is not your your first time uh, at the uh, Turner Hall Ballroom, right? You this is you. No, I've been there a few times now. So that that's that's gotta that's gotta be fun too. Like you know, if you're you know, we're starting back into things, we're easing back into it. Like putting on an old pair of slippers, going back to the Turner Hall Ballroom, I right? That we that's gotta help with the anxiety it. a bit. The Turner Hall is like the big venue. That's like where the big events yeah. take place. And then I'm. Defending against Jordan Grace, who just won the Impact Tag Team titles. Right. I, and she's been working this whole year. She ain't taking one day off. She ain't getting no sleep. She out there winning belts and transforming her physique and going harder than ever before. And trust me, I'm, I'm nervous. Okay. But you can't stop. You can't. I've been literally having the best week of my life. And you, there's just no stopping this turn up train. Well, there you go. There you go. Because uh, you, you are, I mean, it won't be exactly your first match back, right? You had uh, you had a match uh, a couple of weeks ago during WrestleMania week against your now fiance, GPA. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you, Thank you very much. Um, and But it was your first match back, you know, uh, since I think... It goes back to your your defense against Alex Garcia, right? In last October. Yeah. Uh, how how easy was it for you to ease back into the ring? Was there was there that infamous ring rust that you had to deal with? Um, I didn't really feel any ring rust just because like it had only been a couple months since I had been wrestling. I was been four months, I think, at that point. But like I was definitely like the nerves just get worse. So you're like behind the curtain, just like. I want to throw up and die a little more than usual, um, but <laughs> just a little more than out, usual. Not, not quite the usual amount. <laughs> <laughs> but like, once you're out there, once you get past the curtain and you hear the fans, like, thank God there are fans there, and just that's it's literally just once you get out there, you're in front of the fans. It's go time. It's nothing better. Oh, that's fantastic, and 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 it was it must have been cool too because there were a few fans there as well getting back into the groove of things, you know, and ah, GPA got one up on you on that occasion, but this fucking cheater, man, but he made up for it. He made up for it with that 
amazing proposal. So it was amazing. Forgiven. <laughs> I, 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 we're going to give him his whatever props he deserves for that <laughs> on this one occasion, right? One time. One time. <laughs> it was pretty cool. And you were, you know, I, were, were you expecting that? Like, not literally at all? Not complete at surprise? All. Like, I didn't, he had it in his pocket. Like, he literally went out the ring to, like, grab a drink from our water bottle. And we had the camera set up because we train our filming, we film our training spots all the time. Sure. And so I was literally thinking nothing of it. I was like, okay, we're going to try this cool little thing. And then I hit the up and over and he wasn't under me. I said, what the heck? And then I turn around, he's <laughs> on his knee. And I'm just like, this isn't real. Oh. This is, are you joking? I literally didn't feel real i was like this is a prank someone's joking well i'm and, and you know i wouldn't have put it past them either but it was <laughs> but it was uh, i'm joking of course it was a wonderful moment and and we're very very fortunate to have been able to 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 see it as well and again congratulations to you both we're we're all very very happy for the both of you um thank you we're also very happy that you're defending your title this weekend. You know, there, you know, a couple of big, you know, there's some big events happening at WrestleFest. First inaugural uh, Zello Pro champion that is going to be uh, that is going to be uh, determined in a ladder match uh, this weekend. Uh, Matt was telling me that there's all sorts of shenanigans, you know, that that, that are planned for this one. You know, mm -hmm. it, 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 I think it's going to be something wild. But you're going to be defending your title, which is a big deal. In and about itself, I think if my calculations are correct, and I I'm a lit major, so I suck at math. But I <laughs> Me too? Think, okay, I will correct you. <laughs> six hundred and twenty six days this Saturday, uh, yep. you as champion. It's one of the biggest accomplishments in women's independent wrestling. Um, I, I I think it's easy, it's very easy to say that you are that you've become synonymous with Zello Pro at this point with this title. How, it, it's got to, how do you feel about all of this? I like just to, for someone to say that like Lainey is synonymous with Zello is just like, that just means so much. Like I just wanted to like make this rain like legit and put out my best work for them. And I feel like I have, and they've given me some really awesome opportunities to grow in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. And this match with Jordan Grace is absolutely one of them to be able to wrestle her at her peak. I mean, I take that back. She probably not even at her peak. She's still, she can, she's got a lot of glass, a lot more glass ceilings to break, mm -hmm. but just to wrestle her, like, like I said, she just won the tag team titles. She's on impact. She's on TV every week. And to be able to prove myself against her, that's gonna mean a lot when I walk out of there with that title in my hand. Well, there you go. So you're you're still you're still very confident uh, that that you're you're that you're going to that you're going to walk out with the title. And yes, why wouldn't you, you be? Can't, you just can't take you can't take this from me. It means too much. No, I mean, there, there, and there's no way there there's no way you there's no reason why you wouldn't feel that way, right? Because you've defended uh, like a rogues gallery of women, right? You've you <laughs> fought. Uh, uh, you fought uh, Kaylee uh, Kay Ray, uh, 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 Elena Black, uh, Shotzi Blackheart, and you know those are just a couple of names that are popping off the top of my head. I mean, you, you, there's a there's a litany of women who are, you know, elsewhere doing stuff on on, uh, on other other promotions now, which begs the question, Lainey, when are we going to see you on television <laughs> on a network cable wrestling program? I don't know, bro. I'm trying to figure that out myself. But <laughs> if I'm just an indie queen for the rest of my career, I'm okay with that too. Yeah, but so so that very easygoing way. It's like whatever happens. But I mean, you know, it it, it begs to wonder sometimes, you know, because they're you know, and I, I'm not trying to insinuate anything, and I'm not trying to dig into anything. But you know, <laughs> you do have. AEW that showcases quite a bit of independent talent on dark on elevation. Um, I kind of feel like uh, you'd be you, you'd be uh, you'd be at home in that type of environment, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you say? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know a lot of the girls that go there and everything, but I mean, just this year has just been so crazy. But I feel like once things start rolling again, everybody's getting in their grooves. Then the cream. Is gonna rise to the top, and we're gonna get scooped up. There you when go. When it's my time to be at the top, I will be scooped up. 
It'll be exactly the cream does always rise. So that's it, it's it's a very wise saying, saying that one man once said. Um, yeah, he knew what he was talking about. He really did. He really did. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's it, Jordan, this weekend, you, I mean, you've already put her over, like, she's, you know, former knockouts champion over there on Impact, as you said, just won the tag team titles this weekend, uh, at, uh, at Rebellion, um, and, you know, she's, she's even done some intergender matches there as well, but I, that's nothing new, that's part of Jordan's thing, you know, and the same oh, as you, like, to a certain degree, you guys do have... A, a lot of similarities as far as you know who you're willing to wrestle and maybe your styles are a little different but uh but there's a lot of complementary-ness is that a word let's just say it's a word <laughs> what when what do you think about uh what, what do you think about that i think i'm gonna have to potentially come with a different game plan i have wrestled jordan twice now maybe okay. and i have not come out with the win but I have learned, and that's what every match is about. Right. So I've definitely been training, trying to get a little more power behind, in my workouts at the gym and making sure that cardio is up so I can run those circles. And yeah, I'm going to come with a little bit of a different game plan than usual and see if it works out. Well, and, and you said it yourself, right? It's like you, you learn, you, 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 if you don't learn from your mistakes, you know, what's the point? And, what's the point? And this is the big one. Like, this is the one that you want to win, right? Exactly. She's never wrestled me for my title. Oh, I like that. I think that's the difference. For my title. I like that. I, 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 that that's really cool. So it's happening this Saturday. Uh, it's uh, really exciting. It's going to be, uh, uh, like I said, this Saturday, May first. Uh, if you're in Milwaukee and you wanna you wanna show up, it's at the Turner Hall Ballroom, or you can also watch it live on Fight TV. It won't be a problem, and you'll be watching Lainey Luck defending her Zello Pro Women's Championship. I'm rooting for you. I'm not gonna lie. I like Jordan. <laughs> don't get me wrong, but we love uh, I, I what's but... that? I said we love Jordan, oh, but not a problem. We have no issues with Jordan, but I, I'm a sucker for a streak, you know. <laughs> and if we're if we're 660 some days into this title, I say let's keep it going. Um, but it was a pleasure to talk with you once again, Lainey. Um, why don't you let uh, the good people know where they can follow you on social media and whatnot? You can follow me on my journey on the road to 1K, legendary. At patreon.com slash Lainey Luck or at Lainey Luck on Instagram or Twitter. And I also have some pretty sick t-shirts up at prowrestlingtees.com slash Lainey Luck. Well, there you go. So, and, and get those t-shirts. Get everything. Get in, Follow her everywhere. It's fantastic. Lainey, I wish you nothing but the best of luck this weekend. Hope everything goes your way. Uh, and uh, thank you so much once again for joining me here on Bell to Bells. Thank you very much. I'm very excited to turn up at Turner Hall. There you go. Turn up at Turner Hall. <laughs> and uh, and I thank you all of you for turning up today on the, on the Bell to Bell's YouTube channel or on your favorite podcast app. If you liked it, give it a like. Hey, you know the drill. I'm not going to run it through. You, you guys know how this works by now. want to thank you all for joining me today. And uh, we will see you next time.